In this video, I'm going to show you how to send an email using PHP via the SendGrid mail, mail server. So SendGrid is a website that um, offers mailing uh, options and services. So you'll just have to sign up uh, and you'll be able to generate an API key. I think it will be pretty clear on how to do that, so I'm not going to actually show you those steps. We're going to be using this SendGrid PHP client library and we're going to be using Composer to install um, and use it. So I'll include this in the description below. I will also include this. This is the code I'm going to be using. Um, it's pretty simple. You, know, you have your from email, your to email, the subject, and then you can create some HTML content and then you, it just sends off the email. So I'm going to start MAMP. I'm going to run this locally. Okay, so that's properly started. Now we'll need to open up a terminal window, and as you can see, um, I don't know, actually know what the SendGrid composer link is, but we can just look it up. So um, SendGrid slash SendGrid, here it is. One, uh, 1 1.9 million people have used this, um, and what you do is run this code here. Composer requires SendGrid slash SendGrid. So jump over to your map folder, some applications, just making a folder inside my, and then I'm going to run composer, or I copy and paste the entire thing. So I expect you to have composer also installed. Um, just give it Google if you don't actually have it installed, it will tell you how to install it. Now that I have that installed, I'm going to open up, uh, create a new file in, in that folder. HDDocs, SendGrid, and we'll just do it right at the index. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste this. This is the same thing as what's on the gist. Then I'm going to create a new file called credentials in the same folder. And in that, it will look exactly like this one. So you're going to input your API key here, and you'll have to generate it. OK, I've now added my API key. So the next thing you have to do is, well, we're pretty much set up. Now that we have Composer installed, and we have this code, which sends our email. So one thing we do have to do is generate a actual email content. And call this test.html. And it's a little weird because there's no, yeah, I think you can add CSS stylings, but you should all just do inline styling so you can make um, nice looking emails. So if you do in, let me say like, So one important thing I recommend is looking at the privacy and um, spam laws in your country. I know in, here in Canada that um, they're pretty strict and making sure you oblige by them is pretty important because if not they will, uh, SendGrid grid will give you the boot in terms of you have a reputation and if your reputation goes down too far they'll um, stop letting you send emails. It also, the reason why you use a mail server is because it's a trusted uh, server compared to just using the simple PHP mail function. And so it's, it's pretty important to follow these rules because you want to stay professional. Um, you don't want your, emails, your email address to be ending up in spam because then it will be harder and harder to contact your users.
so this is just some content as a demo. Um, applications, not Man Pro, can't afford that. Yeah, HG Docs, SendGrid, and I'm gonna actually open up the test email. As you can see, you can just open it up in Chrome. Um, so we're gonna make this a little nicer looking. So a don't think this will actually do anything. Oh, well, it does. Um, and you can always add Google fonts. So let's say this one. No styles. So with this, you just copy, put it at the top, and then reference it. But before you, act, I don't recommend actually putting these quotations in because it will get or escape them because they will get screwed up when you input into your PHP code. So what I want to do is do font family there and font family on this text too. And if I refresh my test page, it looks a little nicer. Um, you can keep adding stuff, but I'm going to use that. So what I usually do is I copy the whole thing. Uh, copy the whole thing, and then I just go into it like my Chrome browser, paste it in there, and then copy it again. Uh, I opened up my code here and input it into the HTML content. So then Next, I need to I'm going to send it to myself. I'm also going to send it for myself. Uh, SendGrid doesn't like Gmail and things like that. I think you can still use them, but at some point, I remember they announced that they uh, were dis um, stopping that, so you can't use it anymore. And so I should probably sign into Gmail. What I'll do is now run a test. I should receive this email here. So localhost 8888 slash sendgrid. Hit enter 500. It's not working. Let's find out why. So the important thing is MAP has logs here. As you can see, these are just edited. Stack trace line 16. Sendgrid not found. That's true because I do not have a the require I'll add this to the guest. I don't think it's in there. Okay, let's try this again. I think it's vendor actually, not vendor. Yeah, oh, and same back one. Require vendor and then slash. There we go. Delete that. Try again. And it says done. And so essentially what happens right now is I said if the status is 202, if it doesn't say anything else, it will throw an error and you can find more a response if you just do a. Um, Print R and then the response. It'll just spit out everything, and you can see what where you can find your error code. So there, I got a new so a test from YouTube, and then it comes in um, looking like the HTML code, which is very nice. Comes from SendGrid, and so on. So that's sending an email. I can send another one right now quickly. It's it's pretty e easy. So this will be two, and then I can change to my YouTube or something like that. If you want to, you can also customize it to include their name and stuff by just doing a string append with PHP. So I'm going to refresh this page. should send another one. Test from YouTube. 
and as you can see it worked. If you like this video, please subscribe.